DragonCon Crispy here and with our friend Steve. Steve, thank you for coming back, sir. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. You are a, uh, a star <laughs> to so many people here. Oh, uh, and I, 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 you have to get this a lot. Uh, but thank you for all the work that you've done oh. and for inspiring us as puppeteers, us as consumers of media, us as family. Uh, you know, w without you, I probably would not be here. Really? Uh, doing this kind of stuff because I- Because I gave you a ride this morning. You, yeah, you nailed it. You were really really a fantastic Uber yeah. driver, five stars. Thank five you, stars. Thanks, thanks. But like, you know, but, but yeah. all, all of that great <laughs> stuff, like Rizzo and things like that. So it's not often that we get to, have, I, I, like me, get to have the opportunity to personally thank someone for, hey, thanks, oh, for, thanks for my life. Thank you so much. You know, um, thank you. and wow. I just, it's, just, it's just astounding that you willing to come back and do these fun shows and meet the crowd. Do you, hear, not to say just hearing things like that, a good thing, but what's it like having a con environment where you can interact with fans and, and, and just get that feedback, which you don't always necessarily right. get? Well, it's terrific. Um, you know, when we have done all of our work over the years, we're in a studio. Yeah. And I love the people that are around and we have fun with the crew and everybody yeah. laughs and has a good time, but it's not the same as connecting with the fans. Yeah. And there's really no, almost no opportunity to do that when we're in a soundstage someplace. You're in the box, yeah. Yeah. So this sort of chapter of being able to move out into the world and go to Comic-Cons, especially yeah. something as magnificent as Dragon Con. There we are. And meet, these, meet various fans from right. various walks of life and and um, hear their stories about the Muppets or what they may have loved about the right, work right. we've done over the years. You know, it's really nice. It's, 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 there's a lot of us, you know, and, and, yeah. and it's a little overwhelming at times, I would imagine, because uh, Bo Brown yep. does our publisher track. He's yes. a good friend of mine. He has cultivated such a fantastic track. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Most of my interviews are puppet themed. Unfor oh, yeah. uh, not unfortunately, I love it. <laughs> because there is, there's just something about Atlanta. Yeah. You know, because I know you've done a yeah. lot of stuff with the Center for Puppetry Arts as well. Yeah. Uh, being local and doing your fair share of uh, right. openings with Kermit and things like that. Yeah. What is it about Atlanta then that makes this a puppet town? Yeah, I have no idea. I've often tried to to give thought to that, and yeah. I don't know. Yeah, um, no one does. I, I, all I can figure is, I mean, I, I think giving credit where credit is due, a lot of that credit goes to Vince Anthony. Yeah, Vince, one hundred percent. Who's been around as an Atlanta staple yeah. for as long as I can remember. Yeah. And obviously, you know, was instrumental with the center and mm -hmm. runs the place. He's the head guy there, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and I've always admired Vince's ability to be able to keep a nonprofit going to the extent that he does on something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, yeah. It's pretty phenomenal. I, I know when I first moved down here in the summer of 2007, yeah. I came from the Nashville area down here. When I first came to the center, it was a dream for me. It's like, oh, cool, I finally yeah. get to see this thing. Yeah. But I was like, oh, yes, this is a nonprofit. Ah. It is what it is. And then I believe it was uh, uh, Cheryl had helped them right. revitalize it a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. And it's just this beautiful museum. It's incredible. I, I think you were, you were there for the grand opening. I was there. I was. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 was, I was there helping yeah. uh, some people as well for that. And to, I don't know, just to see all these collected people in the, a modern representation of puppets throughout history. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. I, it, I don't know, it's revitalized it in a lot of it's ways. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, the Jim Henson Museum is one facet of an amazing place that yeah. really services every different kind of puppetry that there is. That's I mean, it, you know, the Muppets is one style. Yeah, 100%. There's there's so much more to puppetry than just the Muppets. And yeah. it's, it's pretty amazing. A lot of people lose sight of that because yeah, they obviously do. Muppets are famous. Right. I think like that we right. just interviewed a gentleman named the name of Barnaby Dixie. I don't know if Barnaby Dixon, I don't know if you know who he uh -huh. is. He's been doing these these finger hand oh, puppet things. Right, Barnaby. right, right. And I talk about because he comes from a, a, a background of stop motion. Yeah. And he took that and applied it to that. Right. And just seeing all these fun ways that people are getting into puppetry yeah. and exploring. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's great. And how much do you think? Because you've been doing this for a long time, really long time. Uh, a hot minute there. Yeah. Has that been exciting for you to see the change devolve from the technologies that you guys and the techniques that you guys did 20 years ago yeah. still be used today, but evolved in a new way? You know, it's an interesting thing when you talk about the tech of it. Yeah. Um, and the, also the different styles of puppetry there is one thing that all of those styles has in common for me that mm -hmm. I think is is what ties it all together. Mm -hmm. And that is, I, I tend to enjoy any kind of puppetry if I believe that those puppets are alive, if that yeah. they are organic in some way, mm -hmm. that what they're doing convinces me that they have some life to them. Yeah. Um, and it really almost doesn't matter the simplicity of the puppet or even just the abstract mm -hmm. representational way that a puppet might be presented. If I believe that I can connect with it, mm -hmm. then I totally buy it. 
buy into it. The Muppets a, there's, are there's really great at that, but it's just one the way. The visual, in general. Yeah. There, there was something that you had said uh, at a panel, or maybe, I don't know, I've seen interviews for you for years. Uh -huh. what, it's something that I've always taken part. It's just, let's say we have the puppet out. Yeah. He's just sitting there doing nothing, but a breathing technique, right. get, just making the puppet look like yeah. Yeah. He's just breathing, relaxing. Yeah. does so much to make people connect with that. It does. It does. Yeah. It, it, it's interesting because over the years, I know the years that I was a part of the Muppets, from beginning to end, my own personal style, and I think the Muppets in general, the style of the performance mm. became smaller, more economical. Mm. Our, our movements became more subtle. Yeah. Um, and then we would do crazy things too. But it was the idea of really bringing, making them a little bit more organic. Yeah. You know, they're like a living, breathing thing to some degree. A lot of that influence would be from something like, um, oh, Yoda. Uh, yeah. From, at the starting point mm -hmm. into other puppetry that, you know, we did Dark Crystal. Yes. But, but and there's a new Dark Crystal. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting to see the comparison between the puppetry styles. Because right. I know there's a, a feeling that there's a desire for the nostalgia of it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I haven't seen a, a bit of it. Right, right. I would, as a puppeteer, as a person who worked on the first one, yeah. I would like to see that, to see that have evolved in some way. Yeah. Without necessarily going into a lot of computer-generated stuff. No, I love no. it that it's puppetry. The, pr the practical but, thing. But we'll see. We'll see. So I, I, I spoke with Dave Chapman earlier oh, yeah. this morning, who's, sure. the, who's the lead on that, and yeah. that's why I brought up the tech side of yeah. things because that production specifically, yeah. they were complementing the techniques. Yeah. the tech side of things and still using them but expanding on them yes. because it's the, it's not so much the back to basics but it's the practicality yeah. and the way you guys discovered how a lot of these guys should exist they are using in this and that right. that's so exciting to me how abstract can you get you know that's yeah. the question how far do you go with a certain style of character before it, it becomes unbelievable right you know uh, the muppets are a bit more abstract a bit more broad yeah. usually tone it down quite a lot yeah, for yeah. those sort of rubbery guys that yeah. <laughs> are supposed to be breathing with pulses and stuff. Um, but it's a challenge, you know, yeah. and there's a lot of finding that that place where it all comes together. You know? That's true, that's true. Uh, I can sit here and talk puppetry with you all day. Oh, I will. Well. Uh, and I would if they <laughs> let me. But I also want to know, yeah. Dragon Con's home to a lot of things beyond puppetry, yes. believe it or not. What are some of the geeky things that you're into? Maybe it inspired you to get into puppetry, but just in general, what's, where's your nerddom at, Steve? Well, my goodness. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't expand a lot further yeah. than the Muppets. That's fine. Uh, although that's where it started. Yeah. Um, these days, I'm finding myself getting hooked on a lot of Netflix stuff, like Stranger <laughs> Things. And yeah, you're in the town for that, as yeah, I like to say. Yeah, you know, I, I want to go visit their set. Uh, I, I, I said this earlier, I live a mile away from the Starcourt Mall. Oh, well, I, that was where I... Exactly, we talked yeah. about it, in Lilburn. When yeah, I was a kid. Place Mall. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to go sneak in there one yeah, day. Yeah. And took a bunch of pictures. Very and interesting so, to go back to your kind of high school mall. Yeah. And go around behind it, and there's an entire film crew set up. It's you know? incredible. It's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah. Do you think, though, with uh, Stranger Things, a great example of this, a yeah. conversation I like to have, the bingeability, the access to media. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, in just 30 years of film and TV, yeah. There's so much content being generated now. You have all these yes. services, yes. Netflix, Disney Plus, DC, everyone's in the house now. Yeah. Do you feel like there is a such thing as too much content? I, I think it's really hard to keep up with it. I, yeah. I know sometimes I'll finish, you know, like I finished Gotham on there. Right, right. And then I moved on to the next thing and I uh, thought, okay, what am I gonna choose now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it took me a long time to choose. And I would watch like an, the first 10 minutes of an episode and yeah. say, this not is not good. grabbing me, you know? Yeah. Th because there are other choices. 100%. Uh, and maybe if I'd stuck with it, I would have loved it. I don't know. Well, you know and and it's interesting to me because like, when you look at the TV shows, look, we'll go all the way back to the 80s when there wasn't that many. Yeah. Obviously, we didn't have a lot of options to swap out, right. but we were far more forgiving. Oh, give it 10 hours. Yes, yes. Exactly that. Give it 10 minutes now. Yeah, yeah. I, as someone who loves media and consumes media, I'm always telling people, oh, I, the first episode didn't do it for me. And as someone who's involved in the industry, I'm like, but these people work so hard. Yeah. Give it, I know, give I it, know. Give it three episodes and yeah. then decide. And then you throw know? it out. Just, just try it, just try it. And that's, I, probably a, that's probably a little bit of a, of a reflection on the, the world today, too. Yeah. I think people tend to be unforgiving quicker. They just 100%. want to move on to the next it, thing. It, they it, want it's to instantaneous gratification. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, while I love the idea of streaming content, it definitely has kind yeah. of perplexed that. Now, yeah. when it comes to streaming content, though, you've got something big in the works. Well, well I want to talk about that. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting that we are talking about this because what we're really talking about is connection to the audience. Yes. When I started out, uh, I was already nine years into being yeah. puppeteer. But in Atlanta, I did a little local show with a character who did a call-in show every day. Okay. 
and I loved it. We were on a, a local UHF, remember the little round antennas? Oh, yeah. UHF, we were one of the only channels, and it was enormously popular because people loved getting the chance to connect one-on-one -on -one with that character. Yeah. I still believe that when people talk about interactive media, mm. there is nothing more interactive than a face-to-face -face conversation. I agree, 100%. And if yeah, you yeah. can manage a way to do that live, yeah. which is what I love doing, and it's mostly improvised, yeah. so that's what I'm back to. I love that, I love the idea. I, I've just uh, created a new character named Weldon the IT Guy. Mm -hmm. Why is he the IT Guy? Well, IT stands for Internet Troll, in Weldon's case. Okay. Um, not what That's it would appropriate normally. there, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And Weldon is basically, not only is he an internet troll, he is an actual troll. He's a bona fide member okay, of the an species. An actual troll, okay. Uh, he's a little furry, smelly little guy who lives that in a cave. Sense. Okay. And the point of the show, besides doing a lot of silly production numbers, which we're going to shoot. Uh, God, that's something you've sold me. Yeah. <laughs> well, hope and hopefully those are, I, I'm trying to bring music back to puppetry in a way that. It's so important. It's got a little bit lost with the Muppets yeah, sometimes 100%. these days. And it was such a big part of, of, of Jim's influence mm. on me back in the Muppet show. So we'll do a, probably a big production number per show, but we're going to live stream this thing on the weekends. Mm -hmm. The first one, I'll tell you the first one. Okay. It's easy to remember. All right. 831 at 831. So 831 at 831. 831 is August 31st. Uh, that's Saturday so night. So that's Saturday. So if this video is online, yeah. watch this. And if you missed it, we'll put it back on the website. Now, is, is this going to be on the uh, the Cave In web? Or, uh, the, or the show is called Cave In. Cave In. Cave -in is it a dedicated Logan. website? Or We're going to send it to my new website, which I've just put up okay. over this weekend. Oh, that's busy to weekend. To launch this. Okay. Easy website. Steve Whitmire dot website. I can't remember this. I'm sorry. I, it's pretty hard. Nah, I know. I'm lost, man. I thought <laughs> I'm not going to go dot com or dot yeah, org. Yeah. I'm going website. Right. That's fair. And uh, when you go there, it, during the broadcast of the live stream, you'll go straight to it. Okay. Um, if you want to call in, now let me say this. Yeah, I'm yeah. giving a lot of stuff here. I'm excited for that. We're we're calling in via the service called Discord. Right. And a lot of our fans are familiar with Discord. A lot of so, people yeah, will yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. So if you already have the Discord app, you will immediately be able to click on an invitation mm. to join in, and you can talk to Weldon. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm breaking so, the reality completely. Because Weldon doesn't like me. He's trolling me on my own Instagram right now. <laughs> that seems to be fair, though. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. kind of his shtick. I You're figured, there to be supportive of the guy, and he's just probably like, no. Yeah. I figured the best thing to do is to troll myself, because then nobody will get mad at me for trolling them. You know, there, there's, <laughs> some, there's something about self-deprecating humor that is endearing. You don't yeah. want to go too far. Yeah. But just enough, you're like, I've got to be able to laugh at myself. Yes, you yes, know? yes. Uh, we have to get going soon, uh, yeah, because, sure. I'm, I'm, again, we could talk all day, and we have things to do. But my buddy Randall here, you guys yes. met before the show. Yes, he, we did. He's got a random question, so we're going to shake this up. Okay. And let's see what scary. you dig in and get okay, here. Okay, I guess Any I am obligated we'll to go with green. Go for the green. Oops, oh, I got green and pink. Green I'll and put pink. that one back. All right, I have to read this and answer it. Let's see what you got. <laughs> if you were a sports team, what would your mascot be? Oh, appropriate. Now, there's a lot of things I could say. Yeah. A frog or a, a troll at this point. The gimmies, yeah. I think I'd probably say a Kubota tractor. Why is that? <laughs> Why a Kubota tractor? <laughs> because I spend a lot of time on one. Yeah. I know I don't seem like a guy who would do that, but I do a lot of land management. Okay. When I'm not doing this silly puppet thing, yeah. I'm usually out in the woods cutting down trees and riding my Kubota. But it's, it, it's your happy place, though. It's it your is. Piece, so. I should have gone with orange. Yeah, obviously. that's fine. Sorry, that's this fine. is John Deere, but that's fine. Green for John Deere. It's yeah. fine. So, well, Steve, I want to thank you so much. For them. I thank love you, this. Yeah, I appreciate it. And, uh, Me too. Those of you at Dragon Con, if you're here, catch them in all the panels. If you catch us before Saturday, 831, 831. 831 at 831. 831 at 831. Cave in and, uh, and stevewhitmar.website. Correct. And then, you remember. Ha ha. They Got do it. pay me the big bucks. And we will see you soon, I yeah. hope, my friend. Thank so, you, thank you. Thank you so much, and thank Thanks. you, Dragon Con. Thank you.